Welcome to Movie Alpaca's Movie Reviews. I'm the Movie Alpaca, and if there's one thing I've learned in my years of the biz, it's that I probably should have gone into accounting like my mother told me to. This week I'll be reviewing the recently released film Jurassic Park. But wait, that's not just any old Jurassic Park. That's Jurassic Park in 3D. Three mother llama D. What's that mean though? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It means 3D dinosaurs. 3D foliage. 3D Wayne Knight. In fact, the only thing that didn't seem to be 3D was Mr. DNA. Now, there are some people out there who are saying, Movie Alpaca, I have all three Jurassic Park movies on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. Why should I go see it in theaters? To those people I say, Shut up! Shut your mouth! 20 years ago this movie came out in theaters and all my friends got to go see it. But I had the mumps, so I couldn't. My mother refused to let me go because she was afraid I might die. And this was my opportunity to finally see it on the big screen. The way it was meant to be seen! And that's what I say to those people. As everyone knows, there's some hokey acting in Jurassic Park. The, that fat kid in the beginning always tests my strength of will of hunting him down today and cutting his belly open with a six-inch razor-sharp retractable claw. But beyond that, this is the classic movie we all know and love. You know, Ellie still sticks her hand in the poop, uh, Muldoon still has his one great line, and, and Lex uh, still repeatedly calls herself a hacker because this was the 90s after all. The movie was at its best, the 3D was subtle at times and just so in your face at others, and those dinosaurs <laughs> still terrify me today. I give it five fake cans of Barbasol out of five. Don't forget to subscribe, and also follow us on Twitter, you know, for like special videos and stuff, because there might be one of those this week. <laughs>